Hey boys and girls, I hope everybody's doing okay today, and I hope you are ready for chapter six of our Jenny B book. The name of chapter six is Pooped and Thirsty. The next morning, my grandpa, Frank Miller, came to babysit. I love that babysitter very much, because he doesn't even follow the rules, that's why. Grandpa Miller let me fix my own breakfast. I fixed two waffles and three marshmallows and a bowl of cheese curls. And guess what else? My grandpa let me pour my own grape juice and I didn't spill one single drop. See, Grandpa, see how careful I am, I said. I am not a sloppy baby, right? Grandpa Miller was feeding Ollie. Right, he said. My eyes looked up at the refrigerator. I hopped down from my chair. All righty, Frank, I guess I'll be getting out of your hair now, I said. If you'll just hand me that box from the top of the refrigerator, I will be on my way. Just then, baby Ollie started to cry. Grandpa Miller patted him. I tapped my foot. Yeah, only I'm waiting, Grandpa, I said. Finally, Grandpa Miller stood up and got my box. He started to look inside. Only all of a sudden, Ollie did a loud squeal. And he put his whole bowl of cereal right on his head. Oh my goodness, hollered my grandpa. Then Grandpa Miller shoved the box right at me and he hurried to clean Ollie's head. I zoomed to my room. Then I locked my door and I waved my box all around. I got it, guys, I got it, I got it, I said. Hooray, said Philip Johnny Bob. Hooray, hooray, said Raggedy Ruth and Raggedy Larry. After that, I set those guys on my bookshelf and I put on my graduation gown. See me, friends, I said. See how cute I look? I am a graduation girl, see? Wowie, wow, wow, they hollered. After that, I danced and skipped and hopped and twirled because they wouldn't stop cheering, that's why. Finally, I flopped on my bed. Okay, that's enough, people, I said. I am pooped and thirsty, and she just means she's tired when she, when she says that she's pooped right there. She's just very tired. Me too, said Raggedy Larry. I am pooped and thirsty too. I wish we could get something to drink, said Raggedy Ruth. So here is Jeannie B's brother, Ollie. And you can see he's got his bowl on his head. Just then, a brainstorm came right in my head. I sat up very straight. Hey, wait a second. I just learned how to pour grape juice without spilling a drop, I said. And so I can go get us some, maybe. Yes, said Philip Johnny Bob. Yes, yes, said Raggedy Ruth and Raggedy Larry. I hurried to my door and listened in the hall. Grandpa Miller was giving Ollie a bath. Shh, I whispered to my friends. You wait here. I'll be right back. After that, I tippy-toed to the kitchen speedy quick, and I poured us a cup of grape juice, and I tippy-toed right back again. So that is the end of chapter six. So we still don't know what's going to happen. We still don't know about the spots. On her cap and gown, we're going to have to keep reading. We're getting close to finding out, though. The name of chapter 7 is Juice Driblets. So we'll read that next time, and we'll find out what happens. Okay, remember, I miss you guys, and I love you, and we'll talk soon. Bye.